Hey guys, what is up? Dave here, coming back to you with another video on the channel. And this is a video that I feel like is probably eventually going to get flagged by YouTube and probably taken down because I have managed to find the source code to the recently released zero day exploit that was on GitHub. If you try to go to those links now, they're dead, they're gone, they don't work. There's no such thing as this source code on GitHub. So I had to do a little bit of digging around, a little bit of trickery with archive.org, and eventually was able to download the master source code from uh, archive.org, basically. And now I can show you guys the source code to a zero-day exploit in Windows 10. So basically the way this works, this won't work on my computer, so I don't have to worry because I'm running an older version of Windows 10, which this does not have any code in it to work with. This was coded on a very specific version of Windows 10, but if you know what you're doing, it was the previous one. It was like 1803 or 1811 or something like that. Um, I'm on like 1706, I think. But if you know what you're doing, people have reported, people that know what they're doing that have the source code, have reported that they can get this working on any computer that has Internet Explorer 11 on it. So, you know, be a little careful right now because this is a big deal. It was reported at first that it was fixed in the update that's coming here, well, this month, 1903, I believe is the Windows 10 version. Um, but again, people that are smart, um, zero patch on Twitter posted that they did successfully get it working on the newest update from Microsoft on Windows 10. So let's, enough talking. I can't even compile this on my computer because I don't have the right um, compiler, but you know, I really don't have to worry, but I want to start and just show you guys what goes into making these exploits when it comes to actually coding it. So we're going to start with the basic stuff, um, typed buffer. A lot of this is going to be absolute gibberish to me as well. It's, I've never looked at source code like this. SDK version.h defines the highest available Windows platform. So I don't have this because this I don't have this. I'm running 141, of course. I looked just before I started. I have, yeah, 141 installed. I need 142. Uh, who would have thought? So. I, need, I just need the Windows 10 SDK basically and then I won't have that error. So there's going to be errors in this just because I'm missing some stuff. There we go. Not much to that. Not much to this. So I do also have this. So I'll show you the stuff I have. I have not everything. I have the POC LPE. Um code right here which is just another more extended form of this exploit that comes with an injector and everything which will be really easy I'm gonna to try to convert that into a combat arms injector or just like a general DLL injector just for learning purposes and then I have the IE flash ready uh, IE 11 sandbox escapes code right here that has the injector source code and stuff like that I'll make a separate video for these other things this is the exploit so it's just multiple different versions. Um, the way this works, I believe, is actually through setting a task, and then it actually will run the task and inject um, exploitable code into, or it will inject a file of some sort into iExplorer.exe, I think is how it works, is what I read. But again, like I said, this is all somewhat gibberish to me, so I can't really tell you. But, you know, one of my goals is to understand this code and look at it and understand it because this is something that's way above me and eventually I'd like to be a security researcher anyway, which is kind of what I want to look into going to school for, going to college for. Uh, right now, I'm too busy to go to college, which sucks. But, uh... Once I have things, you know, spread out a little bit, I should be fine. But yeah, 
this this code's pretty crazy. All right, let's look at uh, exploit.cpp. Um, so yeah, it creates an exe, the username and a password. It creates the task called bear with the username and password. And then it changes it, um, uses the .job file, which I do have. So if you go in here, well, that, that dot job file is not in here because it's over here. So here's the dot job, the exe, the scheduler stuff, the video, and a full readme. Actually, I did not see that. So I'm going to open that. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Tested on Windows 10 32 bit. DACL right. There are two fold folders for the task. Tasks and System32 tasks. The first one is only for legacy purposes. The second one gets used by the task scheduler. In the old days, Windows Explorer or Windows XP, tasks would be placed in the Windows tasks in the .job file format. If on Windows 10, so you know, proof that it is possible to convert this to work all the way down to Windows XP. If on Windows 10, you want to import a .job file into the task scheduler, you have to copy your old job files into. Run the following command using schtask.exe and the DLL copied from the old system. Found this here, so that's basically how to do the migration. This will result in a call to the following RPC task, which exposes the task scheduler service. Assume that is to trigger this bug, you can just call this function directly without using SCH tasks copied from Windows XP, but I am not great at reversing. So even the person who created this admits that they are not great at what they do. <laughs> they just got lucky. <laughs> it starts out by impersonating the current user. But when it hits the following function, set job file security by name, it starts impersonating itself, the system. Then calls set security info on the task created. So yeah, that's that's a little bit insane. Holy crap. This can easily be abused. That's pretty insane. Wow. You need to rebuild for x64 included binary is x86. That's easy to do. Um, obviously, to run POC, you have to pass the username and password. However, this can be the account information of the local non-admin account, meaning it still crosses security boundary. Huh. So this is pretty insane. This is a big leak. And it's actually not that big of code. I'm pretty surprised by this. Let's look at the job file. That's not the right one. I want this one. So let me see this, because I wonder if this is just like... Okay, that's what I thought. It's some weird encrypted custom format, I mean, file. Excuse me, I had to yawn because, you know, 12 a.m. But yeah, so that's all the code actually is. Everything's just done through trickery. It's basically like a glitch in the system that just happens to let it work. Who would have thought that it was that easy? Wow. So, you know, I guess that just goes to show that something I said years ago was... uh sometimes the newbies are the ones that find the biggest bugs because the ones that are smart and know what they're doing don't think to look for the little things and i think this is a good example of that because this is just a simple thing it sounds like of running the task and it just so happens to bump it up to system rather than current user so if it's not current user then it's running as a system task and you can bypass anything so interesting very interesting learned a lot even just while recording this video i know it's kind of bumpy but this is just like this is to show you guys that even though it looks like i know so much when it comes to making legends and things like that people say that oh my god you're so smart when it comes to computers this is just proof that 
holy shit, I don't know shit <laughs> compared to some of these people out there in the world. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I just wanted to make something short, sweet, and to the point because I haven't really seen anybody talk much about this outside of articles just being typed up by like uh, GB Hacking or uh, some other like tech news article websites. So I wanted to make an actual video about it. Granted, I don't think I explained it as well as they did, but they all had access to like the direct person who created it. So I just wanted to make the video. I wanted to go through the code. I hadn't looked at the code yet. So you, you're seeing it the same way that I'm seeing it. No understanding. <laughs> so I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out.